Hi, welcome to a teaching online channel for rural EFL teachers. During today's video, you will be introduced to tips for creating an inclusive classroom. Is it difficult for you to include a variety of teaching strategies in your classroom so you can address all of your students' needs? For a teacher, it's very difficult to address 30 students with diverse learning requirements, mostly because of a lack of time that doesn't allow for personalized instruction to all learners. So, how can we create an inclusive classroom for everybody? Let's take a look at some useful information. An inclusive classroom doesn't provide an equal education experience for all students. It provides an equitable education for all of them. This means using a diversity of strategies for a diversity of students, so everyone has the opportunity to learn successfully. Sometimes, an inclusive classroom only involves moving special educational practices into a regular classroom. An inclusive classroom is mainly characterized by a collaborative and communicative plan designed to support all students. So, the question is, how can we create an inclusive classroom? Now you will know how to do it. Don't be afraid to ask your students how they learn. When you're familiarized with how they learn, it will be easier for you to include that into your lessons. Considering their preferences for learning will help you address more students. You may find that some of your students learn better when you use visuals, so take advantage of that. Research in this field has shown that when students learn collaboratively with their peers, Students with special educational needs have higher achievement rates and improved their skills, and their peers without challenges benefit from those activities too. Working with an expert in differentiation would lead to great improvements in your class. If you don't have the chance to work with an expert, ask your colleagues what strategies have worked for them and you will see how valuable that information can be for you. As we said before, when students work in pairs or groups, learning is more meaningful. So, let's see an activity in which collaboration is key. The activity for today's video is learning about my classmate and during this activity, students will be able to ask personal information about a classmate. For this activity, students will work with a partner. You will have the pairs already arranged, so those students who struggle with English can get extra help if needed. Students will ask each other four questions related to personal information. For example, what's your favorite subject? After that, students will write their partner's response. You can provide them with a chart like this one with more or less information. Students with special needs work better when they are given options, so this chart has four alternatives for each of the questions. After they complete the information from the previous chart, they will be provided with a profile and they need to write and draw their classmates' answers. If writing is too difficult for some of them, you can provide them with magazines, so they would look for the examples of the activities there. After that, they cut all the information and finally, they paste it on their classmates' profile. You can also try some of these activities. Simon says, presenting about topics that are interesting for them, or Realia, for more concrete learning. Can we create an inclusive classroom? Of course we can, we just need to remember some tips. Equal is not the same as equitable. Everybody has the opportunity to learn. Use different grouping techniques in the classroom and ask your students about their learning preferences and consider them in your planning. Be sure to check out our next video about classroom management techniques for students with special needs.